Hansel and Gretel, as retold by Mark Pennington. Once there lived a poor woodcutter with his two children and their stepmother. The boy was named Hansel and the girl was named Gretel. There was a severe famine in the land and the family was starving. Desperate, the stepmother said out loud to herself, the children must go, else all of us will die of starvation. The children were so hungry that they had not been able to sleep, and they had heard their stepmother. At sunrise, the stepmother woke the two children, saying, Get up, we are going into the forest to gather wood. She gave them each a piece of bread and said, That's all we have. Save it for your lunch. The stepmother led the children deep into the forest. Seeing her plan, Hansel dropped a small crumb of bread every few minutes so that they could find their way home. Once they were completely lost, the stepmother ran away, leaving Hansel and Gretel alone. Don't worry, Gretel, said Hansel. I have left a path to guide us back home. We will wait until father gets home and follow the trail by moonlight. Unfortunately, a flock of birds found and ate the trail of breadcrumbs. Now the children really were lost. Looking for water, the children saw a lighted cottage. They knocked on the door, and an old woman welcomed them in to eat. She told them that she would help them go home the next day. She gave Hansel his own room and had Gretel sleep in the kitchen. However, in the morning, they found the door to Hansel's room locked. The old woman said, I've been hungry too. Last night, I fed you the last of my food. Now you two will be my next meal. The old woman built a fire in her huge bread oven. Then she told Gretel to open the oven door. But Gretel said, the door is too heavy for me to open. As the old woman opened the door, Gretel gave her a shove into the oven. She shut the iron door and threw the bolt. How the old woman screamed. Gretel found an axe and broke the lock to Hansel's room. As the children were leaving, Hansel caught a glint of light from something in a black pot by the door. The pot was full of precious rubies. Taking the jewels, they ran out into the woods. Just then Hansel saw a breadcrumb. The birds had not found all of them. The children followed the breadcrumb trail back to their home. Their father greeted them with a hug and said, Your stepmother told me what she did, and she left. The children showed their father the rubies and told their story. The family of three lived happily ever after. Hansel and Gretel A Think Aloud, as retold by Mark Pennington Our focus strategy today is on the second of the script comprehension strategies, C for Connect. Let's read Hansel and Gretel together. Once there lived a poor woodcutter with his two children and their stepmother. The boy was named Hansel, and the girl was named Gretel. There was a severe famine in the land, and the family was starving. To connect, a famine means that there is widespread hunger in a land, and we have seen that throughout Africa and Asia in recent years. Desperate, the stepmother said out loud to herself, The children must go, else all of us will die of starvation. The children were so hungry that they had not been able to sleep, and they had heard their stepmother. At sunrise, the stepmother woke the two children, saying, Get up, we are going into the forest to gather wood. She gave them each a bit of bread and said, That's all we have. Save it for your lunch. The stepmother led the children deep into the forest. Seeing her plan, Hansel dropped a small crumb of bread every few minutes so that they could find their way home. 
Once they were completely lost, the stepmother ran away, leaving Hansel and Gretel alone. To connect, many fairy tales have evil stepmothers. Can you think of some of the fairy tales that have evil stepmothers? Don't worry, Gretel, said Hansel. I have left a path to guide us back home. We will wait until father gets home and follow the trail by moonlight. Unfortunately, a flock of birds found and ate the trail of breadcrumbs. Now the children really were lost. Looking for water, the children saw a lighted cottage. They knocked on the door and an old woman welcomed them in to eat. She told them that she would help them go home the next day. She gave Hansel his own room and had Gretel sleep in the kitchen. However, in the morning, they found the door to Hansel's room locked. The old woman said, I've been hungry too. Last night, I fed you the last of my food. Now you two will be my next meal. To connect, not only are stepmothers frequently seen as being evil in old fairy tales, old women are as well, especially old women who live in the forest. Can you think of any other fairy tales which have old women who are evil living in the deep dark forest. To connect, the forest always seems to be the setting of mischief and evil. It's a frightening place in many movies and in many books. Can you think of any books or movies in which the forest plays a role as a mysterious and scary and perhaps evil setting? The old woman built a fire in her huge bread oven. Then she told Gretel to open the oven door. But Gretel said, The door is too heavy for me to open. To connect. Often in fairy tales, children are found to be very clever in dealing with adults. As the old woman opened the door, Gretel gave her a shove into the oven. She shut the iron door and drew the bolt. How the old woman screamed. Gretel found an axe and broke the lock into Hansel's room. To connect. Often children's fairy tales are quite violent. Can you think of other fairy tales in which there is violence, sometimes carried out by children? As the children were leaving, Hansel caught a glint of light from something in the black pot by the door. The pot was full of precious rubies. To connect, if the old woman in the cottage was so wealthy with a black pot full of precious rubies, why couldn't she buy her own food? Taking the jewels, they ran out into the woods. Just then, Hansel saw a breadcrumb. The birds had not found all of them. The children followed the breadcrumb trail back to their home. To connect, Hansel's plan of leaving the breadcrumb trail did work in the end. Their father greeted them with a hug and said, Your stepmother told me what she did, and she left. The children showed their father the rubies and told their story. The family of three lived happily ever after. Can you think of any other fairy tales? which end on that happily ever after note.